Hey guys, this is a clockwork orange. A lot of people recommended this in the comments. It's my, I think this is the third Stanley Kubrick film I watch. What the fuck is this place? Whoa. Huh. What the fuck? Dickheads. What? I thought they were fucking rehearsing for like a play. What the fuck, man? Oh no, no, they're not gonna gang really quick. Come on, man. Fucking hell. Shit. Fuck. Man, credit to the actress. Fucking hell. Yeah, please fuck each other up. Kill each other. All you guys are fucking dirty motherfuckers. Die, all of you. I hope the whole theater burns down with all of you in it. What the hell kind of gangs have fucking uniforms like that? I hope this wasn't the norm in the 70s. Come on. Or late 60s. Shit. Kill each other. What police? What's the name of police? What we were after now was the old surprise visit. That was a real kick, and good for laughs and lashings of the old ultraviolet. Oh, I hate this guy already. It looks like he's gonna be the main character. So he's gonna be in the movie the whole time? He's not gonna die anytime soon. How long is this movie? Oh, for fuck's sake, two hours? That's a nice, <clears throat> that's a nice house. Oh, cool. Oh my god. What kind of movie is this? No. Shit. What the fuck? Oh my god, this movie better be satisfying. Cause all this shit in the beginning. God, I hate his face. I hate his I hate his face so much. Is this some fantasy fictional fucking town or some shit? Why are people dressed like that? Oh that shit would have made me laugh. But I'm too fucking pissed and disgusted at this movie so far like I don't give a fuck if I'm supposed to appreciate the artistic value in this no the fucked up shit is overpowering the artistic value I cannot appreciate this as art and that's just me call me weak minded say that women never get this movie I don't give a fuck I don't appreciate anything about this movie so far. What a psychopath. It's like a bird of rarest spunk. 
I can't stand them. I can't stand them. One of those art movies. School. This bastard is in school. God, what a shit mother. You don't know how to raise your fucking asshole of a kid. Fuck you too. Odd things? Fucking idiot. God, fuck off, all three of you. Post corrective advisor? Fucking. You're a disgrace if this is your post corrective method. If you know of his violent tendencies, why isn't he locked up? Castrate that motherfucker. Oh, nasty. You deserve it. Why is that guy outside? Why the fuck does he talk like that? Everything about him is disgusting. I hope you drown. I fucking hope all of you drown. Yeah, kill him. Kill him. They're gonna fuck you up. Hopefully. Good. Mm, come on. They're gonna break in? Of course they're gonna break in. Hello, Randall Police Station. Good evening, it's Miss Weathers at Woodmere Health Farm. The word team sounded very like what was quoted in the papers this morning in connection with the writer and his wife who were assaulted last night. But just a few minutes ago. Alright, come to the house. Come to the fucking farm. No, just come anyway. Fucking get him in the head. Get him in the head, please, God. Yes. Smash his face in, please. Oh, fuck, no. Shit. Fuck. I fucking hate this movie. Please let it be satisfying in the end. What? He got freaked out because he killed her? Killing is too much for you? Good. Yes. Yes. Enjoy prison, you piece of shit. I hope they fucking sit on your face. Smash his face. Yeah. Just fucking put his face in the wall. Oh, uh, good. Yes, yes. Kick his face in, please. They forced me to do it. I'm innocent. Does he really believe that they'll believe him? A fucking narcissistic psychopath. Little shit. Mm. Finally, your 
only took almost halfway through the movie. Yes, you deserve that. Fucking asshole. Dickhead, piece of shit. This is the real weepy and my tragic part of the story beginning, all my brothers and only friends. After a trial, the judge, he was sentenced to 14 years in Stargem number 84F. Not Full enough. Smelly perverts and hardened prostutniks. Like you. Why are you smiling, you fucking asshole? Yes, you do. God, I hate how he talks. How he talks about himself. He is beyond rehabilitation. Don't tell me he's not going to serve the whole 14 years. Bullshit. They're gonna get him. They're gonna let him out. Of course. It was only halfway through the movie. Of course, some more bullshit is gonna happen. I'm still waiting to see a moment that I find entertaining in this movie. Or worthy of me watching it. Two weeks? That's it? He knows. It's bullshit. God. I hope the treatment is painful. And like the worst that could be. I hope it's the worst thing that he's ever experienced. It better be. But whatever it is, he's gonna fake being okay. Then they're gonna release him in two weeks and that's it. Fucked up, fucked up. Oh, he's... Oh my god, he's taking the piss. Fuck. I hate this guy. Inject him in the eye. Through the eye. Even though I hate looking at eye stuff and... Eye shit in movies. Oh. And the gulliver was strapped to a headrest with like wires Shit. coming away from it. Then they clamped like yeah, but little fuck him. I have so no I sympathy for this no fucking bastard. <coughs> fuck off. Good. Fuck off. Fuck off. I'm gonna enjoy. This is the only part. This is the only part so far in this movie that I'm enjoying. So fuck off. 
Turn it up. Turn it up. Eat shit. Fuck off. Fuck off. This is one of your favorite movies. Like, really, I don't care that I'm shitting all over it. I hate this movie. I hate it so much. Okay, even if they brainwashed him into, like, feeling disgusted or whatever, when he thinks of violent thoughts. Okay, but he has to still pay for his crime. He has to be punished. It's not fair. Fucking hell. They're really gonna let him go. Kill him, please. Find them after he's released and kill him. Just try it, bitch. Tell him to fuck off. No one gives a fuck. Eat shit and die slow, motherfucker. Go live under the bridge. Suffered. Fuck okay. off. Yeah, hopefully forever. Okay, I think I think this was a book. I don't know if this part was meant to uh, meant meant for us to sympathize with this guy, but it's not working. If that's the purpose of it, I have no sympathy at all. That was the point of the scene. Oh. You gonna kill yourself? No, oh, there's like 40 minutes left in the energy sauce. It's not gonna kill it. Oh, it's the same old guy. Yes. Let's have some karma. Yes, let's go. Get him. Shit in his mouth. A cop. What the fuck? Oh, the other guy too. Oh my God! What the fuck? Oh, Land Rover Defender. That's a cool fucking car. Okay, some more karma. I don't mind that. Too bad it's... Too bad all of them need to get fucked up, but I guess... How did they become cops? Imagine the women they rape just walking by and looking at, looking at a cop and it's her rapist. Yeah, drown him in shit water. Oh, this, this is the house they gang raped, that woman. Okay. Oh, maybe they'll take him. Oh, maybe they'll take him and do their own torture on him. Ooh, that would be amazing. Come on. 
I need some good thing to happen in this movie. As long as they know that he's free. Oh, he's in a wheelchair. He, they fucking permanently disabled him. But not that much. And his and his picture is in the newspaper. Oh, he knows. Oh, you recognize him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's him, bro. Yes. What? What the fuck? So he doesn't think that's the guy that raped his wife? Thinks he's just another criminal? No, 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 I think he does know. He does! He's just, oh, he's trying to, oh, he's trying to come up with the most creative shit. Let's go, bro. Get it. Oh, you have no idea what's coming, you piece of shit. Hope it's good. Oh, he's he's singing that song. See, no, he's not re rehabilitated. He's a fucking asshole. Forever. He's taunting him. Oh, you wait, you piece of shit. Where's the light? You watch it? Shit, wait. No, he's dead. Sorry to hear about that, sir. He was very badly raped, you see. We were told by a gang of vicious young hoodlums in this house that is very good and you're sitting in now. I was left a helpless cripple, but for her, the agony was too great. We want to know. Thank you very much, sir. Well, shall we, uh, Help him with but, what? But I still feel very miserable. Very much down in his face. Fuck your spirits. Okay, here we go. Some satisfaction. Finally. Are they just gonna keep him in the house locked up for decades? And just play the ninth symphony the whole time. That would be amazing. Why'd they give him a bed? I would've just stripped the wallpaper, painted the walls black, have nothing in the room. I like revenge in movies when it's deserved. Thank you. Oh, he survived. So now everyone's going to have sympathy for him. You've been well on the way to making a complete recovery. I hate this. Oh my god, they're apologizing. Oh god. He's so smug and sickening. I fucking hate this movie. I'll never recommend it to anyone. This is. I feel like I'm sick. I have a desire to stick a knife so many places on this guy's face. God, when is this fucking movie gonna end? Only six minutes left. So they lock up the old guy, okay. So he got everything he wanted. So he won.
Okay, I hate this movie. I hate it so much. There is nothing I can appreciate in it. I don't know. Some of you might think that might this movie might be one of your favorites. Uh, you do you. There was nothing entertaining about this movie. I watch movies uh, for the entertainment, so I can laugh, so I can feel something, so uh, I can learn something. Even horror movies, it's entertaining. But I found nothing to appreciate in this movie. If you tell me, oh, it's an art movie, appreciate it for its art and uh, the writing or whatever. No, fuck that shit. Uh, you can call me weak-minded or you can say no, uh, that women don't get this movie. I don't give a fuck. Disturbing. That's the only word I could use. Disturbing. And I cannot... I didn't see any art. I didn't see any art in this in this movie. Uh, the Shining, the com the ending confused the shit out of me, but it was beautifully made. Shots were amazing. The the soundtrack, everything visually was amazing. But in this movie, fucking hell, nothing. There's nothing I can take out of this movie. Nothing positive I can take out of this movie. I'm trying, but no, there's nothing. And this is from the first few minutes. It's not, it's not for me. It's not, it's not for me. Some people could appreciate it for whatever value it has to them, but it's not me. There's zero value in this movie to me. In my opinion, this movie was not made to be artistic or to display some kind of creative writing or directing or I 100% I believe that this movie was made just for shock value at the time 1971 let's shock people and let's leave the audience hating themselves hating society and yeah just let them leave the movie theater feeling like absolute shit like how how do you watch this movie and at the end be like, oh, wow, that's a great movie. It was amazing. I can't believe I have to watch this again so I can edit my fucking reaction. I appreciate all the comments that you guys put on my videos. I appreciate it so much. But after I edit this movie and upload it, I'm just going to forget about it. I don't want to go back and think about this fucked up movie ever again. Uh... There are a lot of Stanley Kubrick fans, but uh, I like the other two movies he made, but this one is, in my opinion, like fucking garbage. Garbage. That's it. I'm not going to look at any of the comments or anything. I just want to forget that I ever watched this. This is a disturbing movie, and uh, a lot of you suggested it, and I know now why uh, you wanted a reaction and you fucking got one 